You set? We're good. Alrighty. Hi, I'm Matson from Hummus and Hangs. Hummus and Hangs. Hummus and Hangs. And I'm Kia. Hey. Um, today we're going to be cooking something that is super easy, um, super quick, and you can freeze it, eat it whenever you want. It's awesome. So delicious, literally. So good. Okay, KP. Um, what's the first steps that we've done? So, before starting filming this, we've actually already started cooking the lentils. So I cook lentils in a bit of a different way because I really don't really know how to cook lentils that well, but it always seems to work out really well. So we filled our pot with about half of this size, so maybe about 200 grams of lentils. Then we chucked water that fills up about maybe half of the pot. Just so their the lentils are completely covered. We're cooking with a gas cooker today because it's a lot more convenient than cooking with the stove, just for the sake of the video. Matson's now just stirring it and it's looking really nice. We want it to really look quite split so the lentils look open. You want to, you want to cook it until it's split. Yeah, so while that's still cooking, we'll get on to the rest of the recipe. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get an onion. So these are these are pretty small. I personally prefer a bigger onion than this because I love a big onion. Love a big onion. And so you want to cut it and remove all the skin and then finally dice it. So what I like to do is while I'm getting the lentils to cook, I start the rest of the ingredients. So Got onions, the main the main base of our dish is onions, garlic, and ginger. And then we just add in a whole lot of spice. Yep, so we've got all our onions cut there. So using about one onion, then we're gonna use about two cloves of garlic. So we really wanna finely dice the garlic as small as possible. Because we uh, want it to look really nice and minced. How's that looking, KP? That's looking actually really good. So what we're going to do, not mince the ginger, we want to grate it. Grate it. So also grate gonna... it's a great idea. Too many puns. So we really want it really finely grated. So just choose the really fine one on your grater. And like we were saying before, all these recipes that we've got here on Hummus and Hangs, they're just going to be super quick, super easy. Like this takes under 20 minutes. So. We've got this on a medium heat, so we really want to keep on a low heat so we can get the onions to brown. And we're always putting the onions in first because garlic burns quite quickly, whereas onions take a lot longer. So you always want to put the things that take a while to cook in, cook first. So now that our, un uh, our sunflower oil is nice and heated, we're going to add in some of our diced onion. So you can hear it's got that really nice sizzle. Just keeping that on a low to medium heat. This is so much harder than I thought it'd be. Mm. We need a new can opener. I'm gonna add some of the ginger. And we just wanna keep on stirring that, keeping that on a medium heat until it gets really nice and brown and all those flavors really combine quite well. You can already smell it tastes so nice. So when it does get really nice and brown, we want to start adding some of the different spices. Oh. We want to start adding Ooh. some of the different spices that we choose in our recipes. Curry powder, this is really good, such a nice flavor. Love using heaps of this and cumin. So they're pretty much the base of my recipes and curry powder and cumin. I honestly don't like turmeric that much. Like, not a turmeric latte fan or anything. I don't know about you. Ugh. Not a fan. But it does add that really nice flavor to recipes and it does have some really good beneficial health properties. And um, like adding a little bit of chili just to give it that little bit of spice, but he's a bit of a wuss for chili, so I can't add too much. And just you want to mix it around really well so the flavors get really well through it and also. 
they just get extracted by the heat. So I've also got some fresh oregano. So we have a little herb garden here. It's not not really doing the best, but the oregano is it's trying. It's, it's trying. trying. The basil is dying, and that's my favorite thing. But standard winter weather. Yeah, but. The oregano is doing so well, and so I really love fresh oregano. So I get a giant bunch of that and put it in. So now Matt's is stirring this, and it's looking really nice and yellow, and just so. I wish you guys could smell this right now because if you could, you would make it straight away. But what we're gonna do? We're gonna turn the heat up a little bit, and then we're gonna add in our diced tomatoes. So again, super cheap. These are about, I think they're like 69 cents a can. Cheap as chips. So cheap. Literally, I, like canned food is so cheap. So we're gonna add in some of the diced tomatoes. So we wanna add in about two of these cans of diced tomatoes. Standing too close to the hot plate. Oh. No, it's a joke. I was just making it too hot. Funny. So now that the diced tomatoes are in there, it's got this really nice red orangey color. It's looking absolutely different. And the smells with the tomatoes are that good. And that's coming from someone who doesn't like tomatoes. I don't mind tomatoes. You always give them to me. Yeah, because I don't like the whole tomato. I can't eat a tomato like an apple. So we're going to add in some of the lentils that we cooked up earlier. Oh, got it. Oh, yeah. How's the sound? Don't wear a white shirt when you're cooking. Yeah. Otherwise it ends up all over your shirt. So, we're gonna add in two cans of three bean mix. Yet again, these are also soup. But, but where, do, where are we gonna get the protein from? Where do you get all the protein from? Well... Beans, man. Lots of beans. So many beans. Such a good source of protein. So, now that the... All the main ingredients are actually in the meal and it's just cooking and really getting those flavors mixed together. We're gonna put the last few herbs in. So I like to use a, a few bay leaves. I'm gonna add two of those in there and you mix them around. And then also, <laughs> you don't wanna break them. Oh, so that was what I was doing. Wow. So, and then you also want to add in your oregano. So that's the fresh one we just picked from the garden. And I just like to sprinkle it all over and that's a more mix it all in. So I can mix these in? You can mix those in. Okay, beauty. Hope you enjoyed the video today guys. Uh, if you have any questions about the video or any other videos, please leave them in the comments below and we will answer whatever you guys put out to us. And don't forget to like and subscribe down below and also turn on the notifications to make sure you get notified every time we post.